All right. Court of Common Pleas is going back in session. <clears throat> you may be seated. Zimbo Havers, Dupreet Singh, CR 2019-07-1095, Council for the State of the Press, along with Detective Flick, Council for the Defendant of the Press, along with Mr. Singh. Prisoners are present, court reporters present as well, or outside the presence of the jury. About 11.38, the court went off the record and left the bench and directed the jury to take the form that the court had provided. Your Honor, sorry, I think it's 1038. What I said. Hold on. Sorry, 1038. 1038, and um, gave the uh, bailiff a form to hand to the jurors that had two um, questions regarding their continuation of their deliberations. They have uh, provided the um, paperwork to the bailiff, and it is checked that we do not believe that any further deliberations will serve you as a purpose in regard to this matter. So, it is my intention to bring them back in. Not my intention to give them another power charge unless there is a request to do so. I can do that. We already gave it to them yesterday. I can ask a portion of it, or I think that this indication that they do not believe that any further deliberations will serve a useful purpose sums up their attitude since it is now 1147 and they have been back in the jury room for an hour just considering this question. Anybody have any objection to the court's procedure? the interest shared by the state, the defendant, the court, and the public in the efficient administration of justice is diminished. The sacrifice of efficiency for the preservation of liberty is central, however, to the safeguards the Constitution affords to criminal defendants. If men must turn square corners when they deal with the government, it is even more true that the government, including the courts, 
may not cut corners when dealing with Man Street. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I do appreciate your duty and your service in regard to this matter. The court accepts the jury's conclusion and finds that there is no probab probability of this jury agreeing. The prosecutors instruct to prepare and present an entry on this finding. Ladies and gentlemen, as I said, I want to thank you again for your service in regard to this matter. This will conclude your jury service, and I will discharge you in a moment. After you are discharged, you may discuss your deliberations with others but are not required to do so. You must decide for yourself whether or not you will discuss such matters. In any event, you should be careful what you say. You should make no statement, verbal or in writing, unless you are sure that it is complete and correct. You should make no statement that you would not be willing to make under oath in the presence of the court, the other jurors, the litigants, and their respective counsel. If your statements are to the press, remember your name and your statement may appear in print, in which event you should be doubly cautious to be sure that your statement is absolutely correct in whole and in part, because the press may only use the part that the reporter considers sufficiently newsworthy or challenging. As jurors, you have served as public officers of this court. When you are discharged and I leave the bench, your services are completed and you have all the rights to privacy of private citizens. It is the lawyer's duty to protect those rights and your desire not to talk about the case if that is your decision. It is improper and unethical for a lawyer or anyone else to harass, entice, or exert improper influence on you for the purpose of getting you to talk about the case. At this time, I would ask you please retire to the jury room and wait until I've had the chance to address counsel in regard to a few matters, and then I will be back to speak with you in just a few minutes. All right? I appreciate your patience. With that, we'll stand adjourned.